Hey everybody, thanks for coming to watch. So, we have ourselves, uh, I think our first uh, winter storm update of the season. And, um, it's not gonna be, it's not gonna be that exciting, but we may have some flurries actually in the U.S. And we're not gonna have 75 degree weather uh, in the middle of November. Yeah, so let's get started. As you can see, Right now, it's about an hour ago, a little over 2 o'clock right now. This is 1 p.m. today. We have some flurries in uh, um, uh, north, upstate New York and uh, some parts of Pennsylvania. Um, Pennsylvania, nor uh, northern Pennsylvania, and western Pennsylvania. You guys could see some accumulating snow, but definitely... If there was any accumulating snow, it would be, if there is going to be accumulating snow, it's going to be less than half an inch. And then yet, there's probably not going to be accumulating snow. Upstate New York, maybe. But again, same thing, most likely less than half an inch. We have our low pressure kind of just staying out in the Atlantic. Um, as you can see, we had some showers and uh, rain showers. Um that went through the area last night, went through the northeast. And then, once we get into Maine, it's going to be this evening at 7. We still got low pressure out in the Atlantic, bringing some rain. But once you go to Maine, as you can see, we have very heavy snow. I would say this has a chance of bringing me up to 5 inches of snow per Maine. So, Maine, you guys could see... Uh, some accumulating snow that would be really noticeable. And you guys could have yourself a little winter storm here. So if you live in Maine, maybe even Vermont or New Hampshire, uh, you guys could definitely have a little winter storm here. Play this through, kind of just goes through. Once it hits into Canada, it becomes a very, uh, very large winter storm, bringing lots of snow. But it's still part of it is in Maine, and I mean northern Maine. You guys could see very, very heavy snow, uh, the middle of the night. So when if you live in northern Maine, when you when you guys wake up uh, tomorrow, you guys could see some snow on the ground. And I'm just gonna say that for all of Maine because this storm goes right directly through the, uh, central Maine and. It's definitely going to uh, bring some snow. So there's our winter storm. It moves through and just kind of goes into Canada. Not a problem. Okay, temperature. Right now, as you can see, we're in a mix. Northern half of the country is in a pretty intense cold front as you can see we're dropping in the 20s in some spots then we have a warm front that kind of brings 60s and 70s to the southern part we still have 50 degrees though and this is in northern texas so uh i would say the cold front is pretty much taking over most of the country um but uh once the once this winter storm starts developing more as you can see we have a sudden drop of temperature uh, right here, um, slightly under um, Pennsylvania. Once we move through, I would uh, once the uh, winter storm moves through, then I would say that it'll just gradually get colder um, in the northeast. So as you can see, the cold kind of shifts into the northeast. Um, but yeah, it's going to get intense. As you can see, 26 right here. We're dropping into the teens. It's going to get very, very cold um, in northwestern, in the northwestern part of the country. We're dropping in the 20s, and like I just said, even the teens, 14 right there, 19. We actually had, I just showed 12. Five. Five degrees. This is very, very cold. Do not go outside in five degree weather. Even if you like very cold weather, just don't do it. 
because it's not good for you. All right, thank you guys for watching. And by the way, thank you so much for 30 subscribers. It's making my day every day to see just a couple more subscribers. And uh, you guys are the best. So take care and uh, stay safe out there. Bye, guys.